Hi, I'm Owen Honey, your local DIY enthusiast from Builders. Today, we're doing wallpaper. Now, wallpaper can be used to beautify any space within your house or even at your office. It is also an expression of your personality. So, we're going to be doing this particular wall behind me with a beautiful wallpaper from Fired Earth. This is how we're going to do it. So, these are the tools you'll require. So, first of all, you're going to need your Fired Earth wallpaper wallpaper adhesive, a large paintbrush and make sure that it's clean, a spirit level, a scraper, a squeegee, a very sharp knife, a pair of scissors, industrial if possible, sandpaper, a pencil, crack filler and a tape measure. So before you even think about wallpapering, what you're going to need to do is prep the wall properly. Get rid of any screws or plugs and get rid of any imperfections on the wall, sanding it down and filling any of those holes with crack filler because a smooth surface gives you a better finish with your wallpaper. With your wall prepped, the next step is working out where do you start with your wallpaper. Now, some people say start in the corner, but if your wall is not straight, it will exaggerate how far the wallpaper gets off. So you'd be starting skew and end even more skew. So I like starting in the center. Now this center line is the most important thing. So measure out your wall, work out where your center spot is, and then make your line using your spirit level. And that line will dictate the way your wallpaper lays across the wall. So with your center mark laid out, the next thing is to cut your wallpaper. So taking your tape measure, measure out the top to the bottom of the wall that you're going to be covering. And then we're going to cut our wallpaper, leaving 50 mils extra at the top and 50 mils extra at the bottom, which we'll cut off at a later stage. So we've mixed on our wallpaper adhesive. One packet makes about three to five liters in total. Give it about 15 minutes to set before you start painting it onto the wall. So using our paintbrush, we're gonna be painting the adhesive onto the wall. Remember to paint more than enough on either side of the width of the wallpaper in order that you don't have to apply too close to the wallpaper when you do your second and third and fourth sheets, so forth. So we're gonna apply this now. It's not too difficult, it's quite easy. So time now to apply our wallpaper. Remember we cut this in lengths of just 50 mils over the required length at the top and at the bottom it gives us more than enough to work with. So we'll roll it out and using our line on the wall that we made earlier on, we'll apply it accordingly. So using your squeegee and obviously a cloth to keep your squeegee nice and clean, you can smooth out the wallpaper. Remember to start from the center and move outward. So you would either move left or right, but the most important thing is to make it nice and smooth and obviously keep it aligned with that uh, line that you set earlier on. That way you'll get a perfect finish. If it's not going too smoothly, just pull away your wallpaper with a slightly from the wall and then start down the center, stick it all down and then work outwards once again. It's quite simple, but make sure you do it properly the first time. And last but not least, make use of a damp cloth to wipe off all the water soluble glue along those edges. It will make for a fine finish. Remember this job does take some time and a bit of skill and it takes a lot of patience. But the finished job is just beautiful and stunning, especially with this textured paper. It gives it almost a 3D feel. It's worth the money spent on it all. Well, for more projects like this and a whole lot more, visit our YouTube channel or go to our website. It is www.boulders.co.za. Get to Boulders 